everybody, it's time for another plan with me, and I am planning the week of May 13th to the 19th. Let's try and zoom in a little bit more here. Is that good? Yeah. Uh, and this is a very exciting week. Uh, this is the week of my Viva. So, yeah, I'm using this kit. I had saved. I didn't buy this kit with the intention of using it for my Viva. However, when I got it, I was like, oh, obviously that's what it's perfect for because it's like writing themed. So I just thought that was perfect, and I'm going to use it this week. Also this week, we are going on a trip. We're going to France from Thursday to the following Monday. However, I was like, I, so I, initially I was gonna use a more travel themed kit, but because my Viva got moved to this, it was originally in March, um, but I was in the hospital. It, it's a whole thing you remember if you've watched all those videos. Um, but yeah, so it was uh, not supposed to, originally I was gonna use this kit for Viva week and a different kit for the week of going to France that was travel themed. But then when they came in the same week, I decided that Viva usurped uh, the travel kit, especially because it wasn't particularly like theme to the specific trip we were going on so I saved it for another trip we're doing in the summer anyways that's why I'm using this kit this week and yeah uh, it is a saucy sticker co mini kit called writer's corner and you get these beautiful photo full boxes and some squared off uh, corner boxes there you get uh, your functional page here I just really love these colors as well I thought they were quite a unique combination and then you got like your boxes sidebar stuff etc and then a uh, bottom washi a few cut washi strips uh, flags uh, to do in today headers and some little things. So yeah, I am going to, let's see, start with some basics. Uh, this kit, this format doesn't come with date covers, but I did want to use some. So I pulled in, uh, these from Simply Beautiful Plans that have different colors of marble. And I think this color of marble will go really well because I'm sure I could use the regular gray marble because there's definitely gray in this kit, but one of the colors pulled out is this taupey color, and this is kind of a taupey marble um, with a silver foil. Uh, of course, I felt like this kit really went with silver foil. So I'm gonna use this set of date covers, and I pulled in some Rose Color Days uh, date numbers that I had that, these have the right, yeah, that had the right uh, numbers on them. And then, uh, let's see, for the washi, I'm just gonna leave it. I was thinking of pulling in a bow, but the red with silver isn't a perfect match for this red. So I figured I'll just leave the um, the typewriter as is. Uh, I like it anyways. Uh, so yeah, I was thinking of an overlay as well, but I don't really wanna cover it up. I kinda like the typewriter keys. So yeah, I'm just gonna do that for the bottom washi, really simple. And then for flags, uh, which one? I guess I'll use the typewriter flags because they're a little more like specifically patterned. I don't know. I feel like the, like, cause if I wanted to put it sideways and write on it, I could do that with this, but I couldn't with these. So yeah, um, I'll use the typewriter flags for the corner. So I'm going to do all that stuff, uh, and white out where I need to, and then I'll be back. Okay, looks good so far. The lighting's gonna be crap today because it's raining all this week, so what can we do? It's just a gray, it's spring in London, so it's gonna be gray for a while. <laughs> so, okay, so let's see, what do we wanna do for next steps? We need to do the headers. So I've got uh, today headers to go across the top here and to do headers to go across the bottom here, but then I also pulled in these headers from Lucinda Charlotte Designs that are different like color schemes and then um, you could choose your foil. So these have silver foil and they're just an assortment of grays and blacks. And I was thinking actually the black one would be good or this darker, mm, this, maybe this next light gray. I don't know, it's a pretty dark black in the kit. Do you want to do, I'll do the, I'll do the dark black. I like that one. So I'm going to go for the dark black header across the middle, uh, which will be on top of the full boxes. And then do I want to do like the overlays and stuff? Yeah, I'll do overlays now. Why not? So I pulled in a few things that I'll play with, um, and I'll see how everything looks before deciding for hundred percent what I'm going to do. But, uh, I did pull in this set of overlays from Simply Beautiful Plans. I just liked the kind of geometric like style. I felt like it went with the, this kit pretty well. And then I went for uh, just some photo corners from Arctic Paper Studio, really simple ones, bows from Scribble Prince Co. and photo corners from Scribble Prince Co. as well. So I'll, I may or may not pull from all those sheets. I'll see what looks good. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to do, I think I'll do like a little touch of foil on every box. Why not? Uh, yeah, so I'm going to do all that and then I'll be back. Okay. 
Okay. I think this looks awesome. I love the silver with the full boxes. It looks great. So yeah, I think we're ready to go day by day here. So let's start with Monday as is customary. Um, <laughs> cool. So I think, am I going to go chronologically on Monday? Yeah. I mean, I don't really have like room for to do's necessarily. So, or like I'm not room for to do's like in the planner day, but like in terms of in my actual day, I uh, don't have necessarily time to really do anything. So, okay. Mm, I'm going to start down here actually. <laughs> so I'm going to take a half box, like maybe a patterned one for TV shows for Monday's TV shows. Yeah, here we go. I'm going to take the TV icon from the kit and I'm also going to, I'm going to need two hexagons. I think I'll just use various gray ones this week. I do have black ones, but like I, I don't have a good white pen. If you have a white pen that writes really crisp and clean, let me know, but mine does not. So I don't want to be like committing to checking off with a white pen all week. It's going to really annoy me. So, okay, cool. So there we go. That little situation is for Killing Eve and Game of Thrones. And then, okay, so the rest of the day I have like four things I want to fit in. But I kind of want to put a half box for my Viva. But then if I do that, I don't think I can fit both the other things. I guess I don't have to put one of the things. I could put them both in little things, but then I wouldn't be able to use my script. Oh, dear. Okay. Um... Yeah, okay, I'll, I guess I'll just use a quarter box for my Viva and that's fine, that's allowed, right? So then let's take, I wanna mix it up, I don't wanna just use all the same type of things. So let's take like one square quarter box, one round quarter box, and one flag? Can I write in that? I can probably write in that flag, yeah. So, let's go measure mark. Okay, cool. I think I have everything I need on my hand here. So, let's start with taking a little piece of washi. And then the rounded quarter box in the red because it's my favorite color and that's going to be for my Viva. So I'm going to take this Coffee Monsters Co. like grad emoji. Just trying to see like how the overlap is going to be like. Um, can I put this like Closer to there. Yeah. Because it doesn't need to be equally spaced if it means like fitting the emoji. So, okay, cool. So then we've got our grad emoji here, and I've just been using these graduation emojis to like for everything to do with like the end of my PhD. So that will be for my Viva, which is in the afternoon. And then this flag. Flags always look crooked no matter what I do, I feel like, is for, um, I just want to put in that I'm uh, going to my supervisor's office before the Viva to just like, I guess, I don't know, just like hang out, <laughs> like be there, like, you know, not freak out, I guess. Um, <laughs> so yeah, so I'm going to um, meet her just before. Everything looks so crooked, goodness. Oh man. Okay. That looks a little bit better. Um, and then in the morning, I have a therapy appointment. So for that, I want to take my appointment script from Arctic Paper Studio and just put it right on top of this quarter box. And then I'm going to use the... Where should I put this icon first? Cool. So therapy appointment, then I'm going to campus to probably freak out in my supervisor's office and then I have my Viva and then after the Viva we are going to do something 
hopefully celebrate who knows um so I think I don't know if I want to leave it blank or I'll leave it for now because I I don't know what I'm going to want to write in there so how much space I'm going to need like do I could I do a flag something like that I don't know so I think I'll leave that blank for now um but it will be whatever because we might like make a specific plan to go somewhere I don't know so for whatever we do leave that blank I think for now yeah then moving on to Tuesday, let's start up here. On Tuesday, I want to do a workout, so I'm going to take, do I want to put it on anything? I don't know. I could do, like, the other flag. I could just, like, put it on this flag. Maybe I will do that, because this one's going to be harder to write on because it has a lot of black. So maybe I will just put the workout script that comes with the kit and a hexagon and then there we go maybe a bigger one yeah that could use a big one why not yeah, do a big one cool so that is for obviously you doing a workout <laughs> and then I want to work from home on Wednesday so I am going to take this house icon and then maybe like a flag, maybe that's where I could use like this flag, one of these white flags here. I think so. And then for my appointment in the afternoon, maybe a quarter box. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Okay, cool. So I'm going to take a quarter box and then I can center the flag better between these two cool and then the house icon for working from home and for the uh, th this quarter box here is for a doctor's appointment that I have um, so uh, with the hand physio so I'm just gonna um, pull in this doctor's appointment sticker left over from a GP sticker studio kit and a little hexagon. Oh, the hexagons are from Peaceful Mind Designs. I Because I use them every week, I forget to, to mention that <laughs> a lot of the times. Cool. So that's my day. And then uh, in terms of to-dos, I have two things. So I think we could use a checklist on this day, perhaps. But probably like trimmed down. I want to use all my washi. Although I do have four strips of washi and I have four rounded quarter boxes. So that they're the only thing I'll probably be using the washi for. So I guess I might as well use it. So, okay. So I'm going to put a piece of washi there. I'm going to put a rounded quarter box. And this is going to be for reading. So I'm going to take this book icon from the kit. And my Barney and Moon custom silver foil read script. Great. And then, let's see, I only have one thing, but I guess I could just cut the to-do list to four because that's what will fit there. And then for the, on the bottom one probably, because there's a little, you guys get a little more wiggle room on the bottom one with the flag there. I'm just going to take this script from the kit that says laundry day, because I usually do my laundry on Wednesday. However, we're leaving for our trip on Thursday. So if I want it to be dried in, in time to pack some of it, I need to do it on Tuesday. So I'm going to do that. And then that's it for Tuesday. Great. So moving on to Wednesday, Wednesday is quite busy. So... Okay, first of all, I have a TV show, and I'm just going to use one of the TV little things from the kits, because uh, I, I have four TV shows this week. There's two TV little things, and then two of them were on Monday, so I did that situation, so that'll work out perfectly. So that's for the 100. Then I also have a graze box coming, and there's like a package little thing, but I kind of don't want two of the same to be there, so uh, I think I'll do something else for that. And then... How many? Oh, I've got four to-dos. Huh. <laughs> Probably be difficult to fit four to-dos and another thing. Right? So let's see what it, if I did four. I could probably squeeze another little thing, actually, if I did four. 
but then the, then everything there's black okay we're gonna we're just gonna like make up our own order of checklists here so that we can do a different color and yeah okay so my partner just called so I had time to let me fix this I had time to think about what I'm gonna do and I decided that the only way this is all gonna fit in any sort of reasonable way is to just use the just use the two little things even though they're the same and it's fine um, so use the package little thing for my gray's box and then I've cut um, there's gonna be a little bit of overlap but that's okay just with the flag there actually maybe, let me try and straighten this edge a little bit um, but yeah so I've cut this checklist down to four and this is gonna be for the rest of my to do's so um, uh, whatever this you can see that it's crooked it's okay uh, so one of those is folding the laundry so I'm just gonna put this laundry icon across from the last heart because it's quite big so that's kind of the best place for it to fit and another one is editing my plan with me for the week so I'm gonna use my magic prince co edit script and then the other two I don't have icons for I'm just gonna write them in but they are doing my nails and posting my midweek spread so cool we fit everything down there and then I've got three things to put in the today section. So one is sort of a to do that I already did move to the today section because of how cramped it was down there. Uh, but first things first, I am going to want to film my plan with me. So let's grab this, I suppose, and a little piece of washi. And then uh, what else? Maybe I could use like this. Just trying to get an idea of how to space everything. So, okay, I'm gonna put this quite low. Okay, cool. So this uh, quarter box, if I can get it straight, great, is um, for filming my plan with me, as I think I said. So I'm gonna take this planner, functional deco from the kit, and my Magic Prince Co. film script, and that's gonna need a hexagon to check it off. And then, let's see. Uh, then I'm just gonna need to work from home again. So for that, I guess just another quarter box. I'm really running out of quarter boxes and not using a lot of half boxes. So we shall see what happens with that. I don't know. Um, okay, yeah, so I'm gonna take this quarter box and I'm gonna take this laptop functional deco from the kit. And then that's gonna need a hexagon as well. And then uh, down here in this tiny glitter flag um, is packing, cause I can write packing quite small. Uh, so perfect opportunity to use one of the tiny flags. I'm gonna add a hexagon here and to check it off. Uh, so I'll write pack, check it off there. And then I've pulled in from a Magic Prince Co freebie this silver foiled suitcase that's really cute so put that there and there we go that's wednesday all done so moving on to thursday thursday we leave for our trip so i'm going to do this one this day chronologically so not like today and to do separate sections really so let's see can i fit everything i'm going to want to fit hmm. so one two three four five six i think i can fit six things let's try so First thing, I think, maybe a little thing. Oh, yes, I can use this one, perfect. Because the sticker I wanna use is on clear paper, but I have this plain little thing with no icon to cover up, so that'll work a treat. So let's do that. And then, I'm trying to get that straight, but I think the header's crooked, but I think I can do about that. And then maybe, no, no maybe it's this. Uh, Yeah, okay. So a little thing and then what's the, oh yeah, okay. Maybe two little things, I don't know. Uh, but then I wanna fit my flight tracker, which is quite big. So, um, no, I, I think I can fit that and a quarter box just so that there's not so much of the same. Okay, yeah. Great. 
So this silver foiled flight tracker is from Rose Colored Days. I can put all my deets in there. That's great. And then the little thing is for last minute packing that we need to do before we leave. So for that, I pulled in this uh, suitcase silver foil sticker from a Harriet Wright Designs sheet that has like miscellaneous, I think it was called like summer icons because um, it has a lot of travel stuff, but also has like beachy type stuff. So yeah, so I've got the suitcase there. That's going to need a hexagon. And then the quarter box down here. So yeah, I'm going to finish packing, pack all the stuff that I can't pack in advance, you know, like the skincare and toothbrush and all that stuff you use on the morning of, um, phone charger, etc. Then, uh, we fly to France and then we are picking up our rental car. So I'm going to use this car icon from the kit for that. And then cool. So that's kind of the, the, first three and then I can only need to fit three more here so then we need to do a food shop so oh yeah before I forget I did pull in I had these from a rose colored days freebie that was in silver foil I had these two day off stickers and whenever um my partner um I don't I'm still a student, so I don't really have, like, days off as such. I'm a grad student, so, like, there's, you know, no days off. Um, but when I partner – so I, when I mark a day off, it means my partner has a day off, which means I'm also taking the day off from doing, like, schoolwork stuff, but it's because he has a day off. Uh, yeah, anyways, if that makes – I think that makes sense. So I – yeah, so I like to mark when my partner has a day off, uh, and so even though the whole thing's a vacation, this Thursday and Friday are, like, weekdays that normally – he would be at work that he's off. So I'm going to put those day off stickers above those days. Cool. So I wanted to do that before I forgot. Anyways, so food shop. Uh, okay, can I fit a half box here? That would It would be super great if I could use a half box. Because I have not really used them. So let's see what, what that would entail. Maybe a little thing on the bottom. And then a half box, and then a, and then the other thing. But what am I gonna put the other thing in? Just by itself? Just put it by itself? Yeah, that that totally works. Okay, cool. We're gonna do it. So great, because I'm like, I'm not using any half boxes. What am I gonna do? Okay, cool. So anyways, the little thing here. Let's start with that. I'm going to take, I could keep it as an asterisk, but that looks like it'll be a little hard to check off. I don't know. So I'm going to take a big hexagon to cover that asterisk because I just think that'll be a little bit easier to check off. And that's for uploading my plan with me. It's the one like actual to do really. Um, so I'm going to use my Celebo Sticker Co. Silver Foil Upload Script. And then it, it's like, the, it's the one like non-chronological thing. Although probably I won't be able to do it till we get to the house and get on the internet and stuff. So yeah, anyways. Uh... I'm not even sure we have internet at this house, actually. It's like our friend's family's house that uh, for a wedding gift uh, they kindly let us use for this long weekend. Uh, yeah, anyways. So, um, yeah, what, what was I going to use for? I think I was going to use the date night script, wasn't I? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, I think I was going to use that. Yeah. Why not? I mean, there will probably be several date night, like things that would qualify as a date night. Or I could use the lazy day even. Well, it's not that lazy day if you've been traveling all day. So I don't know. Uh, do I have these like miscellaneous icon sheets pulled out as well in case I was considering using it? Uh, nothing on here is really like appropriate for that though. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. So I have... Uh, I have more washi, but like not enough to like use this whole script. So I think the script is just going to have to float in the white space by itself. It's from Arctic Paper Studio, uh, and I'm going to use the grocery icon for the from the kit. Great, uh, because we need to do a food shop on our way from the airport to the house because everything will be closed by the time we get there. It's a very small town, uh, and we'll need to stock up. And then we are just going to cook dinner and relax at the house. That's what this half box is for. So I think I meant to like pull something from my staff out but uh then totally forgot to do so so that's fun let's i mean i could do the date night it's just that i think we are planning on going out to like a fancy dinner one night and so the date night might be more appropriate for that what icons do we have do we have any cooking icons or food at all no there's no food icons that's strange yeah no nothing all right do I have anything in my leftovers that would be like obviously oh you know what I have 
I totally could use this. It's like a slight departure because we're using silver foil, but because there's red in this kit, I have the I have a bunch of these. This is like my um, foil sample when I use like a um, rose colored days foil sampler. I put the leftovers on here, and you get a ton of meal icons. So I think what might be cool to do because this is like a red glitter foil. It's the one I use for Christmas week. That's how long I keep my leftovers, you know, got to use them up. <laughs> so I think I'll, I'm going to change the color of half box. Ooh, and rip the paper. Apparently it's okay though. To blue. Yeah. Blue, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this matte paper is thick and it like wants to stay where you put it. Anyways, so I did that so that I could use this flag because it's kind of a small, it's kind of a small um, icon. So just to like make it stand out a little bit more. So that'll be for like cooking at the house and relaxing. And we will check it off with a small hexagon that we'll just put right there. Yeah, I like that. Okay, cool. So yeah, I, t I don't mind mixing foils if like, especially if one like mixing metals, especially if one is like a, a weird foil, like a, like a, an a atypical foil, like red glitter. Um, I totally don't mind just throwing that into a spread that has red in it. Um, even if the main foil is like one of the kind of classic foils. Um, yeah, but yeah, that is everything we're doing on Thursday. We don't have really specific plans for the rest of the weekend, so I apologize that this is going to be extremely light, but uh, we will, I don't know if we'll be able to watch it, but um, I'm going to put Brooklyn Nine-Nine down just in case we can watch it. Um, yeah, again, I, I don't know, it's, it's not clear. The friends, it's like, he's both of our friends, but he's more my partner's friend, so I'm getting like all the information about the house kind of secondhand usually, so I haven't gotten that much info i'm just you know trying to go with the flow a little bit but i don't actually know <laughs> if there's wi-fi there so if there's not we won't get to watch it this week we'll have to catch up next week but that's all right and then i've got a couple to do's so i'm gonna take a half box i will take a patterned one because there's a solid one right there and then also i suppose I will take icons for that and then, yeah, I'm going to put this up here, I guess. Yeah, why not? So I'm going to put uh, my two admin tasks that I do every week uh, on a Friday is clear my emails. Uh, so I'm going to use the envelope icon and backing up my files. I'm going to use the asterisk because that's quite miscellaneous and I'll put them both in that, in that box. And then I guess I'll take my last quarter box. Oh, it's the same as the color of the half box there. Um, I'm not sure what I want to use for the last to do really. I mean, I guess I could move this down and use another little thing. I don't know. I don't love that the little things are all the same color. So it makes it difficult to kind of spread the colors out. Um, I literally have nothing to put in the today section right now because we haven't nailed down and we might not really until maybe even we get there. So like I'll bring my planner. I'll obviously I'll have my planner with me and stuff uh, and all the leftovers from the kit to figure stuff out. But yeah, like one, we know like one day we're going to do this one day we're going to do that, but we haven't a hundred percent. It might depend. A lot of it will depend on weather. So yeah. Um, Friday, and Saturday and yeah, and Sunday as well. Uh, the today sections are going to be left completely blank. So sorry about that, but, um, that's the situation. So <laughs> I don't want to like put stuff in, especially with like this paper and I'd need to bring my undo on the plane, which I can't even do. Cause I think it's more than a hundred mil. So is a hundred mil, uh, whatever. Anyways, that's not going to work. So <laughs> basically, so yeah, uh, I, I'm not going to like plan just to just for the sake of the video when it's not going to work for my actual week so yeah anyways i think i might just have to do this quarter box yeah i'm gonna say the quarter box whatever i don't it doesn't really matter that the colors are right there are both there that's it's fine you know i do my best to spread the colors out but you can only do so much so i'm gonna take this don't forget little um tiny script from the kit 
because uh, this is just like more of like a little note. And basically, if any of y'all play Sporkle quizzes, I love Sporkle quizzes. And there's a badge that I've been trying to get that's like you have to do something every uncertain day of the month. I've been trying to get it for months. And like one month I did almost every single day except the 17th. And then every month on the 17th, I've been busy. So I'm going to do my darndest to not forget and putting it in the planner this month on the 17th i'm gonna get that badge if you don't know what i'm talking about and you've never been on sparkle you're gonna none of this will make any sense to you but anyways so that is a little reminder there and then that's it for friday saturday i have nothing in either section literally zilch great moving on to sunday i have my usual to do so i can put those but otherwise also nothing in the today section anyways so i think I'm going to take, which uh, icon did I decide on using for? Oh, I decided to use that. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. So, yeah. Also, I, I often put a bath in, but I don't know if there's a bathtub at this place. So, I will not yet put that down. Uh, I'll bring my bath script with me, though, in case there is a bathtub. Uh, and then I'll have a bath on one of these days uh, when it is convenient. Anyway. Yeah, I'm worried about not using the half boxes, but there's so much space in the today sections up there that I'm sure I'll be using them there. So that's all right. Anyway, uh, let's see. I guess I could use a little thing. I don't know. Hmm. I mean, it's like little thing or that's kind of it. So yeah. Or I could use this glitter flag actually. Well, no, I like to cover up the dots on the bottom. So let's take a little thing. And then... I only have three other to do's, so, you know, anyway, I'm going to take, I'm going to use the payday script for this. This is for doing my receipts. Um, I can still, I'll still do them even though we're away. Um, if there's any from the beginning of the week, which there looks like there probably won't be, um, then I'll just bring them with me and just stick them in my wallet. And if not, which I don't think there will be, it'll just be from the food shop that, that, um, and maybe anything from the airport. So we can just figure that out. Okay, cool. So what was the pattern? Then I guess I'll use this color. Okay. So, I mean, I could just put five, but I only have three, which leaves space to add something else in. So I have journaling, doing a face mask and posting my end of week spread. I think I'll just cut it to three. I don't have icons for any of those three. So I can just write them into the to-do list. Oh, that's super crooked. Why is it so hard to do this? Okay. Great. So I can write those three in there. And then I'll, I'll leave that blank. And maybe nothing comes up and it's just like a little extra white space without the stress of feeling like I have to fill out a to-do list. You know, when I have empty to-dos, I'm like, oh, I have to fill them out. Um, I feel that way anyway. <laughs> it's like oh, I've only put that pressure on myself, but that's how I feel. So leave that. And then if another like bigger to-do comes up, I can put like a little box there or, or whatever. Uh, but I'm going to leave that there for now. So yeah, sorry that weekend. Oh, before I forget, because I will forget. There we go. Let me put my weekend banner in. It's a really nice, thin, scripty one. Uh, so I'll definitely use it because it won't take away from the... I'll just, yeah, I'll just kind of center it in the bottom washi across the weekend. Why not? There we go. That looks nice. Okay, cool. So now we're going to move on to the sidebar. So why do I only have... I did not do good prep for this week. <laughs> Yeah, I, th I did not do good prep this week. I don't know what I'm doing here. Oh, no, because I only pulled in two headers, but maybe I was not going to do one before the habit trackers. I think that's what it was. Okay, there we go. That's what we're doing. Let's call it intentional anyway, even if it wasn't. <laughs> so I'm going to take my two habit trackers. Um, one is for practicing Spanish. I'll just write that in. But the other one is for meditating. And I have my Harriet Wright Designs Meditate script in a beautiful silver foil. So we will put that in one of the habit trackers and then let's see yeah okay so for the this week header what do I want to do do I have I have some extra washy bits here oh here we go I can use this uh yeah I just have this um little like glitter header from a gp sticker studio kit that's just like silver so I think that would work and then I'm going to take my weekly box And 
take the This Week header, which is from the Rose Color Days freebie that I pulled from earlier. And then I'll take the last piece of washi from the kit. And for... So, oh, something's so crooked. I don't know what. Oh, no, maybe, maybe that... I don't know. Uh, anyways, then I'm going to take... Can I fix it? Yeah, I think so. I'm going to take this... Um, Oh, you cannot see what I'm doing. Cool. <laughs> so, there we go. Okay, so we got this uh, full checklist from the kit. And a to-do script from the same Rose Colored Days freebie. Amazing. That's me, my miscellaneous to-do list. I have a few things to go on there. First thing. where? Oh, here we go. Checking in for our flights. So I'm going to take this plane icon and put it there. I don't know. I'm gonna hang. The icons are really big on this, so let me actually, let me actually see what I'm gonna do for the bottom. Uh, there's a lot of space, and I'm out of washi, so what could I do? Okay, I'm gonna take. I know I have it in a. I have a sample of it here. I'm gonna take a simply gilded washi, but I'm gonna. I'm gonna if it if the paper will let me. Okay, yeah. I think if I'm quick enough about it, it's okay to lift up. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to need my whole arm. I'm going to use a simply gilded bow because there's like enough room for that, but I don't want the bow to be at the bottom. I want to showcase it a little bit more. So I want to put it at the top. Uh, but now that I know I have that space. Okay. Here we go. I have the black with silver bow on a sample. I, re I really want to get this one in the full roll, but I don't have it yet. I have the black with... Um, I have a full roll of the black with the pink, which can also be used interchangeably for rose gold. And I, oh, I don't have the gold one either. Yeah. So I don't have the black with gold or black with silver, but I definitely want both of those. Uh, cause like the black and white, the black, the black rolls and the white rolls are like the most versatile really. So they're probably the best ones to have in every foil. Cause like if you never had any other bow washies. Like, you know, if you had at least the white ones, like there's white in every spread because the paper is white. So I feel like you could, you know, if you had those in like all the basic foils, you could match every spread. Obviously they get a little boring and I'd be sad to not have all my cool washies, but you know, anyways, great. So we've got our bow there. Now let's return to the habit trackers. Yes, we've covered all the writing lines. Amazing. So, okay. So I've got this plane, and I think I'm going to put it across just because it's so big. Um, but then I also, this is also going to go across, so I guess I'll put this one on the bottom. Uh, and this shopping cart is from the a, the same Rose Color Days freebie. And uh, this is for checking in for our flights, and this is for making a shopping list. So bec for the food shop that we're doing on Thursday, we want to go in with a plan, have a list ready to go. So that's what we're going to want. So yeah, that is the finished thread. Let me zoom out. That was too much. <laughs> okay, cool. So it's super empty here, but that's because uh, I wanted it to leave a little more flexibility uh, while we decide exactly how we're gonna structure our uh, trip. But yeah, I let me show you what I have left. Uh, not too much, I used up everything on this sheet. I have three little things left, which will definitely get pulled in with all this empty space. I have a ton of half boxes. Again, hopefully a lot of which will get pulled in. Uh, the three heart checklist I didn't use. Maybe I will at some, you know, on some day use them. Uh, and one flag. And then uh, I've got a ton of stuff on the functional page, some of which will get pulled in as the week goes on. But yeah, not too, too much left really. And let's do a wiggle for all that beautiful silver foil. Love it. Amazing. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this plan with me. Give me a thumbs up if you did. And please, please, please subscribe. It would mean the world to me. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.